Clive. You've recently achieved a significant win in the courts against Chinese mining company Cidic. However, your political influence has suffered with both Jackie Lambie and Glenn Lazarus resigning from your party. With the benefit of hindsight, would you have spent the money you did establishing your party? Or would it have been better to keep your membership with the Liberal Party and exert your influence as a member of the LNP? Will you give me two minutes to answer that? Uh, well, I don't know about two minutes, but you certainly I'll give you time to answer it. Well, you've got to say, was it worth um, stopping the co-payment, stopping the changes to the university, stopping $10 billion of cuts to the people on Struggle Street? Was it worth freeing 436 children from Christmas Island, 1,500 adults from Christmas Island? Was it worth resolving and freeing from detention 30,000 people, introducing the safe haven visas, saving the low-income super for 2 million Australians, keeping the school kids' bonus, keeping low-income support, reducing electricity prices in Australia by 10 per cent, <laughs> making 15 changes to direct action to see it get through the Senate and finally start to work in this country to save the Climate Change Authority, save the Clean Energy Corporation, save Arena, save the RET, fix pensions for veterans over 55, stop Campbell Newman uh, in, in, the, in the Queensland Government, setting up three inquiries Clive, in the this Senate. is not a, a campaign well, advertisement. Uh, <laughs> as well, was uh, as it impressive worth it? as the list is uh, on the face of it. Um, well, of course it was worth it. Yeah. Of course it was worth it yeah. because it's not about how many members you've got in Parliament or ideas. It's about serving the community and having an outcome. That's what politics should be about. Yeah, uh, but is it slightly embarrassing when you start losing the people that you got into Parliament in the first place, isn't it? I don't think so. I think you've, you've got to realise that we were in the balance of power in Australia. We had enormous pressures on us by people like News Limited, who are the number one tax avoiders on the list for the Australian Taxation Department for ripping off the Australian people. And every day you'll read 16 or 17 articles about me in the press, which are all not true. And you'll see the court judgment of the Queensland Supreme Court saying it was utter rubbish. But, you know, that's the sort of pressure that I can handle because I'm experienced in business. Theo Wang can handle it. But for normal Australians, which Jackie Lambie and Glenn Lazarus was, going into that situation, having people and lobbyists call on them day after day, trying to grind them down to desert the poor people of Australia, you know, we've got to expect some of us are going to buckle. But I'm not going to, and neither is Dio Wang. And we're going to expose this budget tomorrow for what it is, just spin, trying to get through the same things they were trying to get through last year. OK, let's move to another question. We probably have spent two hours uh, cross-examining Clive on some of those issues. I've got more here. Yeah, I'm sure you have.